Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about PEMDAS or order of operations. So what is PEMDAS? So basically, PEMDAS is an acronym for the proper order of operations that we must perform when we encounter a series of operations within an expression. So since in this video, we will consider order of operations Everything that we've discussed about operations on integers, operations on fractions, and even exponents will be used in this topic. So I suggest for you to watch them first so that you can catch up with the solutions that we will have for every problem in this video. So I will just put the links of the different videos about them on the description so you can check them also. Okay, going back. Having PEMDAS being an acronym, each letter of PEMDAS corresponds to a specific word. So let's start with letter P. So P stands for parentheses or groupings. So in parentheses, we can encounter the grouping symbols such as the braces, the brackets, and the parentheses itself. So usually when we use parentheses or grouping symbols, we put the braces as the outermost grouping symbol, then followed by the bracket, and the innermost symbol is the parenthesis. Okay? And then for letter E, it corresponds to the word exponents. For M, it corresponds to the word multiplication. D corresponds to division. A corresponds to addition. And S corresponds to subtraction. So, these are the order of operations that we will consider for PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, what are the rules for PEMDAS? So, basically, the first thing that we will perform or simplify for series of operations for a given expression is the grouping symbol or parentheses. Okay? And then, after we have simplified everything inside the parentheses, we perform next the exponents. Okay? And then, after the exponents, we will perform the multiplication or division. So, why or? It depends on what operation comes first from left to right. So, it doesn't necessarily mean that since in our acronym, multiplication comes first than the division, we always perform multiplication before division. So, it depends on the case on the given. So, whatever operation comes first from left to right, if it's division or multiplication, then that will be the operation that we will perform first. Okay? Then, the next set of operations after multiplication and division are the addition and subtraction. So, just like in multiplication and division, for addition and subtraction, we will perform first the operation, either addition or subtraction, that comes first from left to right. Okay? So, these are the rules that we must follow for PEMDAS or order of operations. Okay? So, to illustrate the rule of PEMDAS, let's solve some examples. So, for the first one, we have 30 minus parentheses which involves 2 plus 3 inside, and then an exponent of 2, divided by 5 times 2 plus 1. Okay? So, we will apply PEMDAS. So, we will perform first the parentheses or grouping symbol. So, since we have a parentheses here that has a value 2 plus 3 inside, that's the first operation that we will perform first. So, adding 2 plus 3, we have 5. So, therefore, we have 30 minus 5 square divided by 5 times 2 plus 1. And then, since we don't have any more grouping symbols, we proceed with exponents. So, we have one exponent, right? The 5 squared. So, simplifying 5 squared, it means 5 times 5, right? Or 25. So, that we have 30 minus 25 divided by 5 times 2 plus 1. And then, we will perform next multiplication or division. So, we will check what comes first from left to right. Since we have 
both division and multiplication, right? So, since division comes first from left to right before the multiplication, we will perform that first. So, we have 25 divided by 5 is 5, right? So, that we have 30 minus 5 times 2 plus 1. And then, next is the multiplication. So, multiply 5 times 2, we have 10. So, we have 30 minus 10 plus 1. And lastly, we are left with two operations, subtraction and addition. So, we will perform what comes first from left to right. So, since subtraction comes first, then addition, we will perform that first. So, 30 minus 10 is 20 and then plus 1. Lastly, 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. So, therefore, the final answer for this expression is 21. So, by the way, you can also check the final answer using a calculator. So, you can just input everything within the calculator and then press equal sign to find the final answer. So, it must be equal to 21 as well. Okay? Next, we have 3 fourths minus 1 half divided by 2 plus 5 times quantity 2 over 5 minus 1 fifth raised to the second power. Okay, so applying PEMDAS again. So let's start with the grouping or parentheses. So we have one parentheses here. So we will perform first the operation inside the parentheses, which is 2 fifths minus 1 fifth. So subtracting 2 fifths minus 1 fifth, they are similar fractions, right? So we just simply subtract the numerator 2 minus 1. And then, over the same denominator of 5, we have 2 minus 1 is 1 over 5. So, we have 1 fifth. Therefore, we have 3 fourths minus 1 half divided by 2 plus 5 times this expression is equivalent to 1 fifth and then squared. So, there's no more parentheses or grouping symbols. Let's proceed with exponent. So, we have one exponent, right? which is the 1 fifth raised to the second power. So it means 1 fifth times 1 fifth. So we have 1 times 1 is 1 over 5 times 5 is 25. So that we have 3 fourths minus 1 half divided by 2 plus 5 times this expression is 1 over 25. Next operation is multiplication or division. So, since division comes first before multiplication, we will perform first 1 half divided by 2. So, to divide 1 half by 2, we simply multiply 1 half by the reciprocal of 2 or 2 over 1. So, the reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 half, right? So, that we multiply 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. Okay? Therefore, we have 3 fourths minus... 1 half divided by 2 is now 1 fourth plus 5 times 1 over 25. Next is multiplication. So we simply multiply 5 over 1 times 1 over 25. We have 5 over 25. Or 5 divided by 25 in lowest term is simply 1 fifth. Right? So that we have 3 fourths minus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth. Next, addition or subtraction. So, since subtraction comes first before addition, we will operate first 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. So, again, this is similar fraction. We just simply subtract the numerators 3 minus 1 over the same denominator of 4. So, we have 3 minus 1 is 2 over 4 or in lowest term, it is 1 half. Divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 2 and 4, which is 2. Lastly, we have 1 half plus 1 fifth. So, this time, we have the similar fractions. So, we will transform first into equivalent fraction using their LCD. So, the LCD of 2 and 5 is 10, right? So, we have for 1 half, 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 1 is 5. Plus, for 1 fifth, 10 divided by 5 is 2, times 1 is 2. So that, we can just add now the numerators 5 plus 2 over the same denominator of 10. So therefore, 5 plus 2 is 7 over 10. 
So therefore, the final answer is 7 over 10. Again, you can check this answer using a calculator. Next, we have open brace negative 3 minus open bracket 6 times 3 divided by open parenthesis 2 squared plus 5 close parenthesis close bracket plus 1 close brace squared minus 4. Okay? So again, we will apply PEMDAS. So we will start with P parenthesis or grouping symbols. So in this example, we can see that we have three grouping symbols. We have the brace, the bracket, and the parenthesis. So we will perform first the innermost grouping symbol, which is this parenthesis, right? So inside the parenthesis, we have 2 squared plus 5. So we have two operations, exponent and addition. So applying PEMDAS, we will perform exponent. So we will simplify first 2 squared which is 4, and then adding plus 5, we have 9. So that we have open brace minus 3 minus open bracket 6 times 3 divided by eliminating the parenthesis already since we have simplified 2 squared plus 5 as 9, close bracket plus 1, close brace squared minus 4. And then we still have the grouping symbol Next is the bracket. So we will perform whatever is inside the bracket, which is 6 times 3 divided by 9. So we will apply PEMDAS since the operations that involve inside the bracket is multiplication and division. We will perform first what comes from left to right, which is multiplication, right? So simplifying 6 times 3, we have 18 and then divide by 9. And then dividing 18 by 9, we have 2. So that, we have simplified the expression as open brace minus 3 minus eliminating already the bracket since we have simplified the expression to 2. So we have minus 2 plus 1 close brace squared minus 4. And then we simplify the expressions inside the last grouping symbol which is the brace. So inside we have negative 3 minus 2 plus 1. So since we involve two operations, subtraction and addition, we will perform first what comes from left to right, which is subtraction. So subtracting negative 3 minus 2, we have negative 5, right? And then plus 1. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And then raise the second power, minus 4. So we don't have grouping symbol anymore. We then simplify the exponent. So we have negative 4 raised to the second power. It means negative 4 times negative 4, right? So negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And lastly, minus 4. So 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. So therefore, the final answer is positive 12. Okay? Next, we have quantity 1 half times 1 and 1 third raised to the third power divided by 1 and 5 ninths plus 1 seventh minus quantity 1 and 1 fourth raised to the second power. Okay, so applying PEMDAS. So let's start with parenthesis or grouping symbol. So we have one grouping symbol, a parenthesis enclosing the expression 1 half times 1 and 1 third. So we will simplify first the expression. So 1 half times 1 and 1 third. So when we multiply 1 half by a mixed number, we transform first the mixed number to improper fraction. So transforming 1 and 1 third to improper fraction, we have 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have 4 over 3. And then multiplying now 1 half times 4 thirds, so we can cancel out the 2 in the denominator and 4 becomes 2. So when we multiply 1 times 2, we have 2 over 1 times 3 is 3. So therefore, we have 2 thirds raised to the third power now divided by 1 and 5 ninths plus 1 over 7 minus 1 and 1 fourth squared. So we don't have grouping symbol anymore but we have now the exponents. So we have two exponential expressions, this one and this one. So let's perform first 2 thirds to the third power. So it means we are multiplying 2 thirds 3 times by itself, right? 
So we have 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 over 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And for this 1 and 1 fourth raised to the second power, to simplify this, we transform first the 1 and 1 fourth mixed number to improper fraction. So transforming 1 and 1 fourth to improper fraction, we have 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have 5 fourths raised to the second power. So simplifying this, it means we have 5 fourths times 5 fourths. So 5 times 5 is 25 over 4 times 4 is 16. So therefore, we now have 2 thirds to the third power is equal to 8 over 27 divided by 1 and 5 ninths plus 1 7 minus 1 and 1 fourth square is 25 over 16. Okay, next is multiplication or division so since we only have division we will perform first 8 over 27 divided by 1 over 5 9 so we have 8 over 27 divided by so let's transform again 1 and 5 9 into improper fraction we have 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 14 over 9 and then applying the rule for division of fraction, we have 8 over 27 multiplied by the reciprocal of 14 over 9, we have 9 over 14. So applying cancellation, we can cancel out the common factor of 8 and 14 as 2. So we have 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 14 divided by 2 is 7. Canceling the common factor of 9 and 27 as 9, so 9 divided by 9 is 1 and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So, we can now multiply 4 times 1 is 4 over 3 times 7 is 21. So, that we reduce the expression to 4 over 21 plus 1 fourth minus 25 over 16. So, let me delete this already. So, we are left with two operations, addition and subtraction. Okay? So, we will perform first whatever comes first from left to right, which is addition, right? So, we will add first 4 over 21 plus 1 fourth. Ah, sorry. This is 1 7. Okay? Not 1 fourth. So, we have the similar fractions, right? So, we find the LCD of 21 and 7. So, the LCD is 21. So, transforming them into equivalent fractions, having denominator of 21. So, since 4 over 21 has already a denominator of 21, we just copy as is. So, 4 over 21 plus for 1 over 7, we divide 21 by 7. We have 3 times 1 is 3. So, we have 4 plus 3 is now 7 over 21. 7 over 21 can still be reduced to lowest term as what? Dividing both numerator and denominator by the GCF, 7. So, we have 1 over 3. Okay? And lastly, we are left with 1 third minus 25 over 16. So, let me delete this already. So, again, we have the similar fraction. So, finding the LCD of 3 and 16, it is 48, right? So, transforming them into equivalent fractions, having same denominator of 48. So, for 1 third, 48 divided by 3 is 16 times 1 is 16. Minus, for 25 over 16, 48 divided by 16 is 3 times 25 is 75. So, that we can now subtract the numerator, 16 minus 75 over 48. So, 16 minus 75 is negative 59 over 48. So, therefore, this is the final answer for the expression. Negative 59 over 48. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, PEMDAS or Order of Operations. So, I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.